Let the beat roll in one time, Cap. All right, we we got a lot. All right, turn me up in the headphones, Cap. I can't hear myself. Got my mic right. All right, bro. Look, hey, hey, listen, man. Jim Stars, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Z, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Hey, check it out, man. We got another banger, man. Y'all know the Terminator coming out. What that thing say? Come with me if you want to lift. Hey, perfect Jim Star shirt, man. I'm probably gonna get another Terminator or whatever. What y'all think about the Terminator? Y'all rocking with it or what? Anyway, man, look. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. This video is not going to be 30 minutes like yesterday's. We're going to buzz through everything. We're not going to spend a lot of time on anything. And we're going to get you the maximum amount of news in the minimum amount of time. So let's get right into it. First things first, I pop and freaks all the honeys, dummies, playboys, bunny. Woo -hoo, uh, those want money. Oh, but they get nothing but penetration. Uh, anyway, man, look, that's too close to the source material. I'm going to get blocked. Hey, look, man. Look, first thing first. Uh, I have procured, like, check this out. Somebody tweeted this to me yesterday, and it was like, yo, we got to get, we got to get, we got to, you know, more or less, you know, we got to mobilize against these people. Hey, there's like, they got the free bundle for $49, right? You get 250,000 VC, and you get a lot of boost and all stuff like that. Hey, look, man, I'm not even going to cap. One thing I'm going to do, if I tell you something, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not going to lie to you about nothing. Hey, look, I told him, hey, look, yeah, this some bull. I'm probably going to buy it if I get a code for Xbox, but it's still some BS. And uh, <laughs> look, man, more or less what I'm telling me is we have to set our sights on getting a functioning game first, and then the money will come. I don't understand why 2K doesn't understand this. You don't have to do sales. You don't have to do all types of stuff like that, man. Make a good functioning game. And then we will throw the money at you. People will just literally just throw. It's just like what I tell my little homies in high school and stuff like that. Hey, you know, they be like, you know, the chicks don't really like them in high school. They don't, they're not digging them this and that because they smart or whatever. I tell them, bro, get out of high school, go to college, get you a good job, get yourself together. And they're going to throw themselves at you when you get done. I promise. It doesn't seem like it during the process, but I promise you. Anybody can attest to that you weren't that popular in high school, you weren't that popular in college. But once you got out into the real world and you got yourself established, now it's just like you got to beat them off with a stick. Get off me. Get away from me. I'm empty. Get away from me, bitch. Y'all know what that movie is. Wait, wait, if y'all know what movie they're from, y'all let me know, man. But look, you like, you got to get them. You got to, you just got to beat them off, man. That's how 2K should be. You make a good functioning game. And then you won't have anything to worry about. And that's what they need to be concentrating on, making a good function of the game. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. There have been some changes in the game. And um, a lot of people may not have noticed those, but that's what I'm here for, to give you the things that you didn't notice. Like uh, paint defense has been fixed. A lot of people don't realize it, but we were playing the game the other day, and me and Man were playing with the guy... Um, playing with one one center and he was just defending everything and we were like yo is paint defense fixed or do we just have a better center and then i've been watching other streams and watching other streams and watching other streams and it just seems like paint defense is fixed guard on guard you're probably still gonna get the kill but if that guard plays it improperly but if it's a guard down there that, that plays it properly you're not even gonna score on him you definitely not going down there and just laying it up over a center or anything like that you're gonna smoke that layup now and that's how it should be you never should have just been able to just sprint down there and lay the ball up without thinking like that that should never be a thing you should always have to have some type of process with what you're doing when you play the game now if we could just get some some type of something done about the uh whip it behind the back i mean i know how to defend it now i just need more practice against it but i don't play on ball defense because i'm, I'm the off guard so maybe i gotta make my guy on uh xbox because i do got an xbox code i have got the game for xbox i will be grinding that player this weekend maybe i need to make him an inch shorter so i always guard the point guard or something like that i don't know we'll figure that out but anyway um Another thing with the game is, bro, the number of whites that are going in right now is ridiculous. Now, I know that people were, I know a lot of people were saying, hey, we hate that, that whites go in. But when the game came out, right, whites weren't going in. If it wasn't green, it probably wasn't going to go in. That made a better skill gap, and people just complain about missing too many full whites. And so, as a result of that, they tuned the game so that you would get fewer greens, 
but the more whites would appear to go in. What they really did was just made it so that the something that should have been a green, it's not a green. It just appears to be a full white. It's a visual full white, but that should have been a green. Because that should have been a green, it's going to go in. It just makes it, it just, it just appears to be a full white. And because it's a full white, it appears that more full of whites, full whites are going in. In the beginning of the game, it was like 2K18, where only 5% of full whites went in, but 100% of greens went in. And you had the ability to hit the 100% green window if you were good enough. Now, they took that away. So, a lot of times when you see a full white go in, that probably was a green that they just took away from the cap from the player, which, like I said, I don't like that. I like the other model where if it's green, it's going in, and if it's not, if it's full white, it's got a very low chance of going in. 75% up or down on the bounce back, that always went in, so, you know, it is what it is. That's that's just one of those things that we, that we had to deal with, but at least full whites didn't go in. But the thing that I was wondering is, do y'all think when they patch the game, they only patch it for you? Like, you did know that when when they patched full whites and allowed more full whites to go in, that your opponents would hit more full whites too, right? Like, y'all did realize that. Like, that's the part that, that really bothers me about the community. Like, they think that if they patch something, well, if they if they make more layups go in, they're only going to make more layups go in for me. No, layups are going in across the board, and you're going to get tired of people making layups that they shouldn't make. The same thing is with the full whites. You got people gonna make full whites and you feel like they shouldn't make them. They should have left it like it was in the beginning. If you if, if we hadn't cried about it, then they would have left it like that and that's how it would be. And then after patch 1.07, what's happening is that full white syndrome has gone up to people with the shot meter off in the beginning, regardless of what. Even when they changed it to what, what more full whites were going in. With, with if you had the shot meter off if it was green it was green if it was white it was white and you probably were going to miss now the way that they've done it is they're not giving you like they're just not going to give you some of those greens but they're still going to go in so it's like with no shot meter on it's the same thing so now we're seeing even more than ever before people making shots with the shot meter off which was unheard of in the beginning and and uh they're making shots with the shot meter off with with uh you know that should have been full white and and they're just going in like i said if it goes if it happens for you if it happens for you it's going to happen to you we just got to deal with that man that's just one of the things with the community you have to think about what you're asking for when you ask for it and then when they give it to you like you get what like my mama say you get what you ask for and you get it because you asked for it it goes both ways we gotta you got we gotta decide what you want you gotta pick your poison pick your battles in some of these cases just like with dribbling if they allow more explosive dribbling people will be able to do it against you as well so you gotta be mindful of that people are gonna find even more cheesier moves in the behind the back and uh all that good stuff man and uh and just as an aside load ups are still in the game they just took them out visually so you don't get the twisting and the turning anymore with with the load ups or the or the long load up you just don't get any animation at all. He just doesn't shoot the ball at all. Also, demigods are still in the game. I'm not going to stop beating this drum. I saw one this morning watching my boy T. Mizzle stream and a, and a power forward playmaking shot creator pulled up. Come on, man. We got to get these things fixed before y'all can try to sell us stuff like that, 2K. It has to be done. We can't continue. Look at Call of Duty. They're making changes right now. A lot of people came out. The, the the major a, a few people of the vocal minority of the community the the, the unvocal minority of the community saying nothing because they really like the camping game the vocal majority of the community is like bro y'all gotta change this they're coming out with an update this December I mean I mean in a couple of days they're gonna change the mini map they're gonna put some new maps out uh pretty soon where where you know camping won't be as prevalent and they're gonna change some things they're gonna make their silence a perk uh, is what they're talking about stuff like that they're gonna make changes that that will keep the game alive because they know they can't afford another year where the game is gonna go to pot they just can't anyway on to our next thing like 2k please take a take take a page out of call of duty's book listen to the community but don't listen to everybody listen to the people that play the game and actually play the game at a high enough level to where you know what their, their opinion matters but anyway speaking of playing the game at the high level last night Ticino played uh, a couple of games the only game I saw him play was um he played against G-Man uh, he played the G-Man the G-Man deal lost to G-Man 
Uh, played against Zuli Zuli. Lost to Zuli Zuli. I already knew he was going to lose to Zuli, man. Zuli invented the whip it behind the back thing. Like, when I'm telling you he's the first person I saw because he's the only person that had his badges the first couple of days and was just whipping it behind his back, him and I knew he wasn't going to beat Double and, and Zuli. If you, because Zuli is actually committed to it. And um, it's funny because looking at Ticino's, uh, Ticino's Twitter, a lot of people was asking why he's not playing with Z, and it's like he, apparently he and Z had a falling out. I bet he wish he hadn't had that falling out with Z right now. Not saying that Chico's not good, but he ain't Z. And like, I just don't understand. Like, bro, me and T Mizzle, y'all see us stream. Like, we what could what could somebody possibly say to you that you play 2K with that's gonna make you not play with them anymore? Me and T Mizzle get into it every single time we play the game and i call him every day we talk for at least an hour every single day we know it ain't that serious we both competitors we want to win i'm not gonna say nothing out of the way as long as you keep it gaming as long as you keep it gaming you can say damn near anything you want to me what could make what could somebody say that's gonna make that duo split up i don't know uh somebody faked faked a uh a, a thing from flight last night saying that you know a hey, you know that flight was gonna flight was in for three for three grand or whatever and Ticino was already for that he had stopped the stream and all that so i guess they trolled him on that uh that didn't happen he did say that he and Z, he and z they, they they cool and z supports everything i'm trying to find that tweet right there but uh like i said they had they had uh had some type of falling out um let me see. And he was trying to find somebody else. But like I said, lost to Zuli, lost to G-Man. He beat uh, running 2Ks, huh, Neon, if, if if that's a real thing. But uh, hold on. Let me see. I'm just going to have to search for, for Zirin. Zirin it. Uh, okay. Well, uh, maybe he just said me and Z. Hold on. Let me see. Me and Z. Uh, let's find it. Because he actually tweeted it. Uh, he said something about he and Z. Yeah, I said, I'll play with Z again when I get home and we'll travel in the future. Don't worry about, don't worry. For now, Chico, uh, for now, it's the Chico show, though. And I, I, I agree. I, I'm cool with that, man. You know, he said, that's his guy. He gonna rock with him. Whatever it was they got over, he said, Z not coming. Z not coming is a bit of a long story. Z not coming is a bit of a long story. Him and I are still very cool, and and he's been supported the supportive the whole whole way. Yes, he had some. Yes, we had some arguments, and I was trying to push him to grind. Uh, he's real cool. Understand that he knows Chico can play fantastic. Chico just needs to drown out the noise. I can understand that, man. Uh, really. Translated to me, what that means is, uh, yeah, Z's watching from the sideline, and he's probably hitting him up like, bro, I'm sorry that I didn't rock with you. I should have, we should have put all that beside. We should have went out there and got this money. Y'all, let me know. Do y'all think they would have won more games if Z would have been there, or do you think it would have been the same result? I think in some cases it would have been the same result. I have seen some matches where Chico's greenness, uh, you know, may or may not have cost him cost him a couple of games. Like the, the Neon game was free cash. That was like that was free cash. It's free real estate. They just beat them unconscious real quick. But um, a couple of things in here though, like uh, like like uh, and and I do agree with Tarsino here. Uh, one thing I hate. Here we go. One thing I hate about the 2K community is half of you never respect good competition. Guys like G Size, uh, ball ball crackhead. Uh, big Shot Zuli, that's Big Shot Zuli, are literally all 90% win percentage and monsters and top 10 guards in the world who play elite defense. They uh, they aren't bots who fall for every move. Respect that. Yeah, I mean, I will say this, man. Like, look, man, I'm going to be real with you. You're not going to win every game. You run a gauntlet like that, you will probably go zero for the whole thing. It's, it's I mean, he came out with a dub. Like, these guys do this for real, for real. You, some people you're not gonna beat, man. Uh, once Z Sice got his bearings, it was no way he was gonna beat Z Sice. Zuli probably didn't have a chance from the jump. Z Man was Z Man was pretty good, a pretty decent series, and uh, all of that. But it's just like that's why guys in the stage really don't worry about record because you're not playing people in the park. Like you might have a 90% win percentage, you playing trash bags all day. Those guys, they're playing upper echelon players that are committed to cheesing all day. So, like, when you bring that gauntlet right there, you're going to lose some games. Duke Dennis also chimed in, man. And he said, uh, let's see, Duke Duke chimed in. 
And he said, but but look, this is why people don't want to play each other in the community because y'all act like everybody should beat everybody. Everybody ain't going to beat everybody. Everybody ain't trash, bro. It just is what it is. There's some people out here besides you and your favorite YouTuber that can play this game too. It's some unknown kid that plays with these guys They that really are holding the team up, bro. You're not beating them either. But that's a story for another day. Anyway, for anyone calling somebody trash when playing for money on 2K, just shut up. You don't know the pressure. Uh... You don't know the pressure playing in front of 15,000 plus people for a th for thousands of dollars. It's not easy, and I guarantee you can't you can't do it with ease. I don't care who you are. You can't do it with ease playing in front of 15,000 people. I don't know, man. I played in I played in front of more people than that. So that's like for real, like and sweat it and had to perform. So I, I played in front of more people than that. So uh, that that is what it is. I got that. I'm really talking about the money. Playing for 5,000 of my own money, I'll probably be nervous as I don't know what. I would probably do like Zuli, to be real. Zuli was like, double, I love you, brother. Just get boards. And y'all let me know if y'all would do this too. I love you, brother. Just get the boards and play some defense. I'm taking all the shots because it's my money on the line. If we lose it, it's going to be on me. I don't want to put it on you. Now, ain't that some real stuff right there? That's some real ish right there. That, that's what Zuli told Double. You don't got to take a shot. You just be on the court. I'll take care of it because I don't want to blame you because you my brother. Man, that's some real stuff right there. Hey, it is what it is, man. But like I said, though, Tarsino still, look, he's still doing his world tour. Uh, one guy, um... Let me see. Uh, a couple of people, a couple of people, you know, they want to talk like you got to, you got to expect that or you got to do this or do that. But like I said, if you've never been in this situation, you don't know. First time I went to the, uh, went to these coliseums and stuff like that, man. And, and it was packed to the gift because it's different playing in your high school gym where you might have one or 2000 and then you go to the Macon Coliseum or the Cineplex or you play in the Atlanta, uh, you play in the Georgia Dome in front of all those people. Like that's a whole different thing. And it's packed to the gills and you hear everything. It's different, man. So I understand what he's saying. But at the same time, like that part of it wouldn't bother me. You can just close the chat. It don't matter who, who's watching. To me, it's, it's me losing my money or not. So, you know, that is what it is. Um, Let me see what else we have. But what do y'all think? Y'all think that y'all be more worried about losing the money itself or the amount of people that you're playing in front of? I don't I don't care about who I'm playing in front of. They don't care. Uh, they probably can't beat me anyway. But it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know. And last but not least, man, we got some quick scores here for you guys. Quick, quick scores, playboy. Quick scores. Atlanta Hawks. Lose to the Heat, 97 to 106 again. Uh, none with 28 points, two rebounds, zero assists. Jabari Parker led the way for the Atlanta Hawks, 23 points, eight, eight rebounds, two assists. He really has found a home there. I hope Trey Young can get back as soon as he can. Godspeed, my young guy. Um, we can't do nothing without him. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Pelicans over the Nuggets, 122 to one, uh, 107. Uh, let me see. Michael Porter Jr. I think this was his debut or something like that. They said 15 points, four, four rebounds, one assist. And uh, Jaleel Oka for 26 points, five rebounds, one assist. Maybe he has found a home down there in New Orleans. We don't know. And last but not least, the Spurs. The Spurs 97 lose to the Clippers 97 to 103. We still don't have. We still don't have. A Paul George sighting, but sure enough, aka Kawhi Leonard came back, 38 points, 12 rebounds, one assist uh, over his over the guy that 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 took his place, Demar Derozan, uh, 29.7 rebounds, two assists. I really think that that um, you know, and the, and the only reason that that that. that the Clippers lost the other game, obviously, was because he didn't play because the other day was a back-to-back -back and because of load management reasons, which is something I think they're doing a really good job. Are you in favor of load management or not? Obviously, if you buy a ticket to the game, you're not in favor of it that game, but these guys have to think about the longevity of their careers, and if you want this guy to be able to play for multiple years, you shouldn't play them on the, on the second end of back-to-backs. I just think that's just how you should do it um, because one game – over a year or a couple of years or a couple more years on his career. Hey, load management is a beautiful thing, man. I'm glad these players are taking their future into their own hands and they don't want to do this. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about the video, man. Do you think that Duke Dennis is right that you, or, or you think I'm more right about just the money because we don't care who we playing in front of? Uh, who, who do you think he going to play next? I think uh, he, he says he got a couple of wages set up set up today i don't really know what those wages are didn't care to look at them but we're gonna see man anyway i gotta get up out of here hope you guys enjoyed the video uh let me know if paint defense is better for you let me know the size of shirts you wear down in the comments let's get this video to 500 likes and i'm out of here till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ holla godspeed and what y'all think about them fool whites man does it piss you off when a fool went going you a fire